Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, we've got a massive, massive update coming to the global side of the game soon. It's update 4.18.2, and in today's video, we're going to quickly break down all of the new features and changes that you guys can expect to see once it officially drops in, I want to say, less than a week from now. Obviously, we don't have an exact release date, but it's coming soon. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. And starting from the top here, it says update 4.18.2 will be released soon. Here is the first hand information on the new features. And the first thing we have is the optimized team formation feature. You will be able to include characters of the same name, but different second names on the same team, certain stages excluded. Okay, so obviously this is the long-awaited same name update that JP players have been enjoying for like four to five months now. And as a global main, I've just been super jealous, man, seeing all of their full Broly teams, full Gogeta teams, their UI Goku teams, full Android 18 teams, you know, like whatever the case may be. I wanted to run those teams too, and now with this update, we finally can, and it's gonna give us so many more options, so much more flexibility in the team building process, and I just can't wait, guys. I'm super, super excited for this. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this too, and for anybody that hasn't been following the JP side, you don't know exactly what this uh, you know same name feature is all about. Like I said, it is a massive, massive change to the game because pretty much since day one, right, like for the entire history of this game, we've never been able to run multiple units with the same name on the same team. So if you wanted to, you know, use two different Super Saiyan Gokus or two Super Saiyan 2 Gohans or whatever, it just wasn't an option. But they completely changed that now. They removed that limitation. And now, as you can see, an example they have here, if you want to run three Super Saiyan Gokus on the same team and three Super Saiyan Vegetas, you can go ahead and do so, you know? So like I said, a lot more options now, a lot more flexibility, a lot more freedom, and it's just awesome. So that is the first thing. Oh, a couple of things to note is that there are a few limitations to uh, this new feature. And the first thing is that in battle, Link's or link skills will not be activated between characters of the same name. So even though you can, it's not really smart to bring a full team of all the same character just because nobody's going to be linking with each other and that's going to be no fun, right? So it's still a good idea to have some variety in your teams even after the update. And the other thing is that characters of the same name cannot be included on the same team in certain events, such as Extreme Z Battles. So there's gonna be some events, some stages that won't allow you to have multiple characters with the same name. And uh, yeah, that is the first feature, guys. Optimized team formation feature, same name update on the way very, very soon. And then the second feature is the addition of super attack types. So basically, they're gonna be dividing the super attacks in the game into four different categories and the first one is key blast super attacks the second one is unarmed super attacks the third one is physical super attacks and the last one is just other and examples for key blast would be you know kamehameha final flash so on and so forth for unarmed it seems to be any attack where you're punching and kicking the enemy without a weapon like uh, the new videl for example and for physical i believe it's any attacks with a weapon. So uh, Janemba is a good example with his sword, right? And of course other would just be any super attacks that don't fall within the other three categories. And I think the reason they are adding these classifications is maybe because in the future they plan to release more units that interact with different kinds of super attacks. Like right now we have the tech Gogeta who can nullify uh, physical super attacks and the LR Janemba who can nullify um, Key Blast super attacks, right? So I think moving forward, we'll probably get more units 
we can do things similar to that. And uh, there's also going to be a super attack type filter, which allows you to filter your units by the type of super attack that they do. All right, so that is the second feature. And finally, we have the last feature here, which is uh, a feature that allows you to skip active skill animations. You will be able to skip active skill animations by adjusting the settings and options, which can be accessed by tapping menu and stay tuned for update 4.18.2. So this is pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna have an option to not actually see the animations for active skills. So when you swipe up on your unit's icon to you know, activate their active skill, you'll get the effect, whether it be a transformation or a buff or, you know, a super attack, but you won't see the animation and it'll just save you some time. And of course, it's not something that we absolutely needed in the game, but it's just nice to have that option, especially for races, right? Like if you're racing a friend and you're trying to see like, who can, you know, beat the event the fastest. Those animations can really hurt you, man. I mean, some people might remember from last year during 5.9 Gaming's uh, first international tournament of power, and I was doing a race against Talon on the Majin Buu Saga stage of uh, Super Battle Road, right? And I had this guy beat, you know, like I was super, super ahead. And then I got a little bit cocky, and I decided to pop the active skill for LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, not once, but twice, okay? And that is one of the longest active skill animations in the entire game, probably around like 20 seconds or so. And I ended up losing the race by, I think 10 seconds. So even if I had only used it once, I would have been good. But because I used it twice, because it took up like an extra 40 seconds, I last by 10 seconds, so if this was a feature back then, I would've been good, right? Like, I wouldn't have lost that race. But anyways, um, good to have this option. Like I said, you know, always good to have more options in the game, regardless of whether or not you're actually gonna use it. And uh, hopefully, in the future, we also get an option to skip super attack animations too, but this is a good start. Okay, so those are the three major features that are coming with uh, update 4.18.2 on global very soon. Um, obviously, this is the biggest one, but the other two are also pretty interesting, especially this feature, I think will become more relevant in the future once we get more units that actually have uh, different interactions with different kinds of super attacks. And uh, yeah, guys, that is gonna be today's video. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to the update, looking forward to the same name update. And uh, that's all I gotta say for now, man. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.